Alright, hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome back to Planar Conquest. So, we've got an Arbalist here. I think I'm just going to leave them there. This guy's coming in. I'm going to leave these guys here. We'll be able to fight them with the guards. Uh, and then lastly, we've got this set of two guys versus my set of three. Should be good. Not, they're not too injured. Good. Okay. So question, do we want to, we have nothing to do with diplomacy. I do want to figure out exactly where this guy lives so I can go murder him. Uh, so we should probably do that. Uh, I don't know how much he's going to be attacking me either. That's an interesting question. Well, it should be fine. Let's take our turn. He's probably going to move to attack or he's going to bum rush one of my cities. Okay, good. He didn't attack. Yeah, the, this game doesn't have exactly the most, um, I'm going to say not defined, but it doesn't exactly have the most, the strongest design when it comes to getting attacked. Like, I kind of like the Civilization and the Endless Legend uh, style of, uh, I'm going to say gameplay, uh, w when you're sieging cities and stuff. Uh, let's see, so let's do one, two... Three, start battle. Alright, so first and foremost, I have a fair amount of mana, so we can probably do some things here. He's got two. So we've got pacifism. Tempting. I'm not sure how many, um... I mean, honestly, it seems like my best bet is, right now, let's cast Acid Arrow on these guys. Let's hope it does a fair amount of damage. They're, oh, jeez. Wait. Hold... Hold the what? Why do his guys have 112? Oh no. I. I feel like I've missed something here, and I think it's entirely. I didn't level up my guys. Oh, we're in trouble. Did he. Did the acid not? It's really weird. Okay. Can I boost it? I could boost it. I'm not entirely sure if I want to. So somehow he has maximum level defenders here. And I'm not... I was not aware that this is a possibility. Which sucks because that means I'm totally screwed. Wait, what? They're not going to attack? Can you not a Can you not attack? This is really bad. Cross the board, really. All right, there's nothing else I can do. Oh, there's the acid. There's the flame arrow. If my guys survive this, which they're not going to. Oh, they missed. Uh, I could try doing a heal. What? Why are they attacking back and forth? What was that? I have no idea. Okay. Well, let's move here. Let's first do spell. Can't do acid arrow again. I don't have enough mana for much. So let's cast ice bolts on these guys. Again, weaken them down. All right. They're looking pretty worse for the wear. Uh, let's have these guys attack. If I can, if I can take him down completely, that reduces his DPS pretty hard. And then we should be okay. How's he not dead yet? Didn't I kill him? Oh, he still gets the retaliatory strike, even if I kill him with the first strike. That makes sense. Okay. So he does a lightning strike. It will try and do a heal. Do they just wail on each other until they're dead? They do. Well, that's annoying. Okay. So, question. Let's just pacify him. He saved. Oh, no. gonna do flaming away. I'm, I'm, I'm not done. I'm mostly done. Shoot, I don't have any more mana. Oh. 
Oh. I should have moved away. Okay. Can we... Can we do this? Maybe we can. Nope. Backstabbing? What? Okay. Um. Well, I'm gonna lose Mantown. Because Mantown doesn't have anybody. And I don't have... I probably don't have enough money to train... Oh, right. I can't... I can't train anybody because I don't have anybody. Well, we will have more mana. I might just be able to shoot the guy while he's trying to fight my defenders. Because he's not going to be fully healed. Okay. That could work. Because what else can I do? There's nothing really that I can summon. Because this will target my summoning circle. Tranquility, True Sight, Wellspring of Life. Yeah, I don't have anything right now that will improve what I've got. How are they level 4? And how do I tell the, that for the future? There's no way. I gotta figure out how to level up my dudes. I guess that's the easiest question. Let me guess. No, these guys are low level, so that's probably just his starting group. So clearly I gotta start taking some of these. Okay. Yeah, usually when we hit this point, I actually have the extreme uh, temptation to just start over. Uh, so we'll just... There we go. Okay. No. There we go. Okay, start battle. We are going to cast... Acid. Do we want to do Acid Arrow? It only does 8 die 4 versus 6 die 6. It's 8 die 4. So the Ice Bolt is unequivocally better. That's not the tile I was going for. There we go. So my hope is, I can just stay away from him. He's going to shoot flame arrows at me. I've got healing and my own spells. So I'm just going to try... How much does... Oh, wow. That is not actually that much healing. My hope is, I can just kill him with spells. Unfortunately, he keeps saving against them. Though this guy can only cast so many spells, he might be entirely out of mana. Nope. But I think Lightning Strike was his kind of last-ditch one. So it could be wrong. I've still got a fair amount of mana here. As long as we don't waste it on anything. Okay, we're gonna have to heal after this Flame Arrow. Unless this Flame Arrow kills me. Shit. Honestly, I have the extreme temptation to just start over. Uh, so here's the problem. I have the Butcher, um, I have the Butcher perk, and the problem with the Butcher perk is if I retake Mantown, it kills everybody inside Mantown. So, yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do. I mean, this is only episode three, and it's gonna be pretty easy to get back. So let's go back to the main menu and start over, and actually have defenses for our towns this time around. Because that was not okay. So you know what? Let's just turn them all on. Do we wanna? Dunno. Now we had Paradise. Let's just leave let's just leave on the ones that we had. 50%, 50%. Let's go three continents, two continents, one, 50-50, randomized setup. Should be good. Oh, that's what land co uh, coverage does. So we're gonna do difficulty. I kinda wanna do wizard again. Same. Let's up the game speed features. Countless, why not? Resources countless. Neutral. Okay. We're gonna go dwarves again. Maybe? Do we wanna switch it up? Tempting. All units can fly. Additional power income from population. Very slow population growth. Units with smaller amounts of figures. High on rest. Okay. Works. No ranged units. Poor research. Very slow population growth. Lack of specialization, no offensive spellcasting units. Interesting. I kind of feel like just going dwarves again. I'll be blue this time around. I was orange last time, but it didn't work. Uh, let's do create my own. 
sure, why not? Let's be Zord Doll. Okay, so first thing we learned, I we only pull from schools that we we have available to. So life was good, earth was good, water was good. I think biomancy was good. I mean, I have half a temptation to just put one into almost everything. Let's put one into fire. Uh, that worked. Okay. So, we probably don't want butcher. Heretic, we don't want. That was actually... Uh, power is way more useful than I thought it was going to be. Tyrant. Dunno. Don't want that one. Ascetic is kind of tempting. Let's go for ascetic for the time being. Okay, now let's see what we can get. Uh, extra power per citizen. We definitely want mystic. That's super helpful. Mentor is probably going to be really good. A low-level hero at the start of the game uh, could help a lot. Let's see what else we got. Pillager? No. Let's see. Warlord could be useful. Summoner's not that great. Sage. Bonus to research gain from power. So that's just 10% research. We probably want alchemist. Because uh, that way I can switch back and forth between money. And if we're using ascetic, we can store all of our money in power. Or mana crystals, really. Okay. Ten additional spellcraft. Bonus to all, all power spent on casting a skill. Archmage is tempting. Uh, let's see. Reduces distance penalty? No. We don't need a planar map. Expansionist. It's not bad, but we don't do it fast enough. The bonus experience, probably not that useful, honestly. Lucky, 15% chance or higher. Events, maybe. Uh, let's go for Pius. Uh, the more the more power we can get, the better. Uh, now that we've realized that we absolutely need that. Uh, let's see, how many points do I have left? Six. Geologist is tempting. Healer's not that useful. Omniscient's kind of useless. Let's see. Enchanter's tempting. And do we want to put more points into... Spells? I mean, if we've got fire, we've probably got our offensive stuff. And between these schools, we'll be okay. Um... And I could put, like, one more point into Earth, but honestly, with research... Oh yeah, let's get Sage uh, along the way. Let's get Warlord, now that we figured out the levels are insane. And let's get Mentor as the last one. Okay, cool. So we want to do... Tranquility, probably. Because anything with an upkeep cost is rough, but Tranquility is useful. Uh, let's see... Heal. Yeah, heal's not going to be that good. So let's go Tranquility. Let's go Fertile Soil. Wellspring of Life is kind of nice, but not that nice. Okay, so Flame Arrow was definitely hurting me hard. A lot of these are kind of useless. And unfortunately, for the earlier battles, just having a nuke spell is the most useful thing. Though, honestly, 8d4. That goes up to 3d6. Well, no, that goes up to 32 at max. I guess it has a higher base damage than Ice Bolt. Well, let's go back and take a look at fire for the time being. Slave work's not that useful. Hellhounds. Summoning circle. I mean, honestly, fire isn't even that useful. But maybe some of these could be useful. Like wall of fire, actually. That would be a good thing to just save. Yeah, okay, we'll, we'll keep with fire for the time being. Um... Phantom Warriors could be actually quite useful. Let's try Phantom Warriors this time around. Bolstering the amount of dudes I have on a field could be really useful. And then lastly, Biomancy. I just randomly picked this one. Um, just because higher chance of certain things. We get Heal, Fire Weakness, Weakness, Vacuum. Or honestly, eh, we don't even need the... Uh, Let's go fi fire weakness. This way we can, if it's only one guy like that, we can hit him with a one-two punch. Ish? Okay, start. Uh, and this time we'll expand earlier, build more units, focus less on my cities, because apparently the AI in this game is incredibly aggressive, to the point of it being super problematic.
Uh, and I don't really like that. I hate starting over, but at the same time, losing, um... Losing my second city. Well, okay, so we've got Karag Isgor. And it looks like we got some nice stuff around. So let's start... Whoa, hi. What? I have five dudes now. Who are these people? Oh, this is my hero. So I've got two defenders, Rune Arborlist, Runecaster, and... Kathendira... Kathendira Dyer. Okay. So, kind of low HP, Bleeding Attack, Forester. Blade Master, Spell Resistance, Living. Attacks, and it's got some basic equipment. And minimal upkeep, pretty useful. And level 5 to begin with. So, uh, it's, I guess let's start adventuring. Is this one? Threat low, fire giant, hellhounds. We get mana, spell, and unique. Alright. Let's try this. I probably should have saved. I think this is going to be the kind of game that I, uh... I'm gonna just uh, do auto-deploy until we find uh, more of this. Honestly, let's move my Arbalist forward a bit. Start battle. Okay, so who... This is my... This is my hero. Let's deselect hero, let's take a look. So the Fire Giant is pretty tough, and then that's just Hellhounds, which are less tough. We've got Phantom Warriors, Fire Weakness. You know, let's try Phantom Warriors. People were telling me that they were... I probably should have summoned them next round. Oh well. Anyway, let's, let's let these guys go forward. Oh shit. They move a lot farther than I thought they did. Oh, my Phantom Warriors are going to go down pretty fast. They do a ton of damage. Holy shit. Note to self, use them more often. Can I, like, pan the camera around or anything? Oh, I can. Oh, that's that's actually kind of nice. So we can actually see what's going on. So, Phantom Warriors almost completely dead. Uh, let's sack him to take out the Hellhound. Seems like a reasonable approach. Okay. That way it doesn't cost me any extra mana. Uh, let's see. So let's do unit abilities. They've got Flame Arrow. That's a Fire Giant, so he's probably got a high uh, fire resistance. How much mana do they have? 20. Uh, so what can we do? Target at random, attacks enemy, attacks friendly, or does nothing. Confusion. Uh, probably don't want that. Let's see. Flame Arrow could work, but probably not. And Sandblast just makes it so they can't do ranged attacks. We could do Stone Skin. I'm gonna... I'm gonna bank on the Hellhounds not healing from fire. Yeah, it didn't work. Okay, so we've got... We've got Dire. These guys don't have any abilities. I guess let's just wail on the fire giant. Does he get a counterattack every time? He does. That's rough. Alright, and then we've got Dyer, who I'm actually going to run over here and attack the Hellhounds. Turns out Dyer kind of sucks. Okay, these guys are going to move over here. What? Did I just lose my hero, too? I did. Alright. Uh, it's auto-resolve battle. All of my guys die. It said threat low. I don't know. Oh. Goody, and since we hadn't taken a turn yet, we have to start over. This is dumb. Okay. We've tried again. Let's see who we have. So now we have... Interesting. He's a higher level. His name is... No, same level. His name is Vern Stargrove. Arms Master. Oh, whoa! Avid Trainer. Each tier adds 50 experience points per turn to all units in his army. Uh, that's gonna be useful. So, I mean, obviously it's still gonna be 20 turns before even the most basic level up happens, but still, that's pretty good. Anyway, Leather Armor, Long Sword. So why don't we, why don't we start, instead of messing around and being, doing the dumb thing, let's see what armor I can get. Can I just get the best freaking armor I can possibly make. 
It's going to cost a lot of mana, though. That's the hard part. Well, let's, let's take a look at Vern here. What is his dexterity, anyway? Reflex save. Armor. Movement points. Fortitude save. Melee damage. Problem is it says max dexterity bonus. I'm not entirely sure. Can I look at can I look at Vern's stats? Can we see what Vern does? Kinda wish I had the ability to customize him properly. Oh, these are my defenders. Okay. Melee damage. Yeah, I don't I assume his he is uh There's no like direct stat screen, so I don't know. I don't know what his max dex is going to be, but I'm assuming, seeing as he's got a plus three on reflex, that his max dex is like one or two. I don't know. Um, so why don't we do why don't we do the easy thing? So he's already got leather armor, armor class two, max dex of two. We could do. I mean, he's got leather armor. We could go up to like chain armor. Uh oh, hide armor doesn't cost anything. Let's do hide armor. And I could make it magical, but I don't think I'm going to. Oh, I see. So let's not do this. He's already got armor on. What he doesn't have is a shield. So you could do large shield, which is two. This is expensive. So you'd be able to get a two armor class. Or, you know what, we'll just be more careful in the future. I don't know. Anyway, let's let's see if we can find a challenge that isn't going to kick my ass. Because so far things have not been looking great. But we could go over to this. What's this going to be? Threat very high. Nope. Well, let's go over that direction. Worst comes to worst, we just take some time. Hopefully they level up. Okay, let's go to Rog now. Uh, let's try again. So we want to do Farmer's Market. We want to do Miner's Guild is tempting. We kind of want to go for... Oh. Temple. Power. Yeah. We always need more power. Sage's Guild. Miner's Guild. Anything. We should probably move the Miner's Guild even to the front. We're good on food for a little while, so the extra production would be helpful. Okay. That'll have to do. We don't have much for unrest. Everything's good. Okay. So, let's research... I... These are all things that I like. Let's go with Ice Bolt. That was a solid option the last time. Okay. Uh, so once we get the, the basics set up for Rognow, uh, we're probably going to want to immediately make another town. The last time we ran into things, we kind of got our ass kicked specifically because uh, all of my units were low level. That's that's a problem. And i got to figure out how to fix that. Uh, next time I get the chance to research heroism, I absolutely am going to do so. Hey, some experience. That's good. Uh, it, this time it also looks like we're not in the center of a map. In the, uh, center of the map. So it doesn't look like we're going to get totally, um, just screwed by somebody. I really wish there was, like, color coordination for these dungeony looking things. I just want to double check. Yeah, so these guys are getting a decent amount of experience per turn as a result of Vern here. Good. Once we have more mana, I mean, honestly, we're sitting pretty high on dry, high and dry on mana already. Uh, but that's because I'm not going out of my way to cast a spell. We should cast one, just fertile soil. The extra population is going to be super useful, but mainly for them. And I'm probably not going to bother with any of my other ones for the time being. Let's go here. Like we've got a bunch of these like little dungeony things, which are awesome, but scary all the same. Uh, let's see, Wellspring of Life, Disrupt Them Dead. I guess we might as well get Recall Heroes tempting. Heals kind of tempting. Target to the Summoner Circle. Let's do that. It's cheap. Doesn't take too long to research. Okay, let's see what this one is. Threat very high. Problem is, most of these are very high threats. Very low. Okay, can I... Can I quick save right now? Okay. So you can try fighting these guys again. It's tempting. Let's try it. We've saved. And we know what we're up against. And I think it's a lower level? They've got a distance penalty. I'm not entirely sure what that's gonna do. 
But yeah, they totally wiped the floor with me the last time. What we could try and do is... Let's put everybody in the back. What we can try and do is kind of hit and run them almost. I, I wish Vern had like ranged attack, but no dice. Oh, is there? There's only one set. Okay, perfect. We've got we've got ice bolt. I'm probably just gonna ice bolt them down. Those hellhounds will only take one more hit to kill. So I'll start ice bolting the uh, the fire giant. I forgot he's incredibly fast. Uh, that's okay. So, you guys are going to do... Unfortunately, they only have Flame Arrow. Well, they could do Confusion. Uh, but they do... F oh. What if we do Confusion on the Giant? Please hit. Okay, the Giant now has Confusion. Uh, who's currently... Oh, Vern's selected. See if I can shoot the giant. Giant has been shot. Okay, then we're gonna do Ice Bolt Giant. We're gonna want to save enough of the Phantom Warriors, so that's probably gonna be my last cast, maybe. Now, I'm gonna take the risky thing. Let this happen. They'll kill the Hellhounds. It's perfect. Okay, so confusion actually worked out. Uh. Why did I... Why did they do that? Turns out they don't have, like, a ranged attack. Okay, frustrating. Okay, Fire Giant is almost dead. Good. You know what? We don't need to cast... Uh, we don't need to summon Phantom Warriors. Let's just do an Ice Bolt. He saves. He's only got H 8 HP left. Let's see if I can kill the Hellhounds. Okay. Good to go. So let's see, he's got 8 HP left. Vern can do 5 to 12. Come on, Vern, get the killing blow. Okay, no killing blow for Vern. I'm a little bit worried about... Oh no, Vern, Vern is fine. I think even my casters will be okay. Do they get the killing blow? They get the killing blow. They do more damage than Vern. That's pretty rough, but you know what? We get a bunch of experience, some fame, and some mana. Good. And that unlocks a something for me. I have no idea. This is confusing. But, alright. Looks like raiding dungeons. Very worthwhile. Also, ouch. Alright. Uh, fortifies. Yeah, let's just do heal until turn. We don't have uh, anything special in Rock now. Why did I do that? I always forget to deselect my guys. Okay, so we wanted to do... You're working on that. Let's train a unit. Can I do a fa forefather? After. Af after the uh, farmer's market. The maybe? No, no. We'll get the farmer's market first. Alright, so let's deselect. How are you guys doing? Very slow healing. Might be a good idea to go back to Rog now. Anyway, train units. Uh, we're probably going to want forefathers and engineers. Because engineers let me... Build roads, destroy walls during sieges, and it's useful stuff. Let's get some forefathers up, because if I can get another city uh, soon, that'll probably help a lot. There we go. Okay, uh, so let's see. We don't have any spells we want to cast. Miner's Guild's been made. Let's start taking turns. Nice thing is, these guys are going to be getting experience just by existing. Which is handy. I might fill up my army with them along the way. Okay. Oh, wow, they're fully healed already. So what's this one? Average threat is just an archangel. Uh, possible rewards look really good. Okay, so let's, let's quick save again. This, I am absolutely going to save scum my way through these things. Ooh. Eh. Okay. Okay, so we've got a singular Archangel. Let's deselect, let's see, he has a fair amount of mana, and 
fairly high level. Well, I'm gonna go with the coward's method. And just hit him with ice bolts repeatedly. He saves. How much damage does he take? Seven. That's rough. Okay. Let's take a look at these guys. You guys have flame arrow. Can we cast? Probably. Area singles, eight die four damage. And they can cast three flame arrows before we're done. Okay. My hope is this Archangel doesn't have, like, stupidly powerful, um, doom and gloom spells to wreck my face with. So let's move him forward there. Move these guys forward. Move these guys forward. Do they get the range to attack? No. Okay. Well, worst comes to worst, he wrecks my shit and we reload. Okay, I think he just buffed himself. And he's out of he's out of mana. What does Righteous Mike do? Uh Extra hit chance, damage multiplier 1.5, extra savings throws. Shit. Alright. Oh, that's gonna be rough. Though he might only be able to cast it for once. So what do we do? We can do Phantom Warriors. It's tempting. Let's do it. Okay, Phantom Warriors are going to move forward. These guys are going to move forward. These guys. Can they shoot him? He can't be that defensible. Oh, he's not. Okay, that's good. out of things. I don't know what his movement range is. So we could attack him, but I don't want to lose Vern here. So let's move Vern behind these guys for the time being. Okay, so he's going for my Phantom Warriors. That's good. They do a ton of damage, but they're going to die. Well, that's okay. I'm out of mana. No, wait, he's out of mana. I still have I still have enough for another set of Phantom Warriors, which is tempting. Uh, or I could Ice Bolt him twice. That's Phantom Warriors. They're a little bit more expensive. Why can I only cast to certain locations? Alright, never mind. Guess we're Ice Bolting him. Problem is, he's still got a fair amount of... Still got a fair amount of health. He saved, but he took a fair amount of damage. Okay, good idea. Uh, okay, how much mana do you guys have? Fair amount left. I guess let's keep doing Flame Arrow to him. Because he doesn't have any more attacks. Bit rough to work with. It's very slow. That's one thing I don't like about the battle speed in this game. Let's see, can you hit him? You can. Okay. Because, um, I don't like waiting for the animations to play out. I really wish these guys had, like, a hunker down animation. Because I don't want to attack him. Because he only gets one attack per turn. These defenders are purely here just to live through one attack. Oh, never mind. He gets another one. Well, they get, they get one too. He's almost dead. Okay, cool. So we lose some defenders, but we win the, va we win the battle. Alternatively, that didn't work. Uh, let's hold off on that. Let's use Flame Arrow. He'll save, but he'll live. Eventually, I'd like to get it so none of my units die. Uh, but I don't have much of an option there. Alright, I gotta do more than four damage. There we go, Archangel dead. Cost of one of my guys, yes, but benefit of the rest. Okay, uh, so we got a bunch of experience, bunch of fame, mana, and some Javelin Ears. Gateways are links between planes. Do I wish to travel to the plane of paradise? The answer is no, but we have that now. And we have... Are these... Oh, no. These are just javelineers. They have seven movement points. For a second, I thought they were level level seven. I got really excited, but that's not the case. Anyway, uh, they're flying. And they've got a range attack. Okay. Okay. 